Minister of State Mary Mitchell O'Connor is given a tour of the Lacuna campus by Professor Vincent Cunnan. Photo, Alan Place unveiled to staff, stakeholders and the public the plan, according to Lit President Professor Vincent Cunnan will ensure the Institute is to the forefront of the evolving Irish higher education system. Advertisement over the next five years, the plan includes increasing the student population by 20% and paves the way for the next stage in the college's evolution. Opting not to join the six IoT Technological University Consortium previously, Professor Cunnan said that retaining autonomy and implementing the plan will allow LIP move towards a different designation. Limerick Institute of Technology launches strategic plan. Pictured are, LIP students, Comland Bovey, Philip Desmond, Iblin O'Regan and Debbie O'Farrell with Professor Vincent Cunnan, President LIP. Picture, Alan Place Professor Cunnan said that, during this five-year period while 150 million euros is invested in its infrastructure, student numbers will be significantly increased. This is a bridge between our Institute of Technology status and our declared aim to become a technological university after this plan is completed. increases to the general student body as well as to international, flexible learning and postgrad and taught postgrad students are ambitious but attainable. Citing the unique and successful Shannon Consortium, Professor Cunnan said that this strategic plan will reinforce the strength of the unique higher education infrastructure that we have in Limerick by building on our partnerships with Ellen Mary Immaculate as well as the Shannon Consortium. The plan puts us in the vanguard of research-informed higher education renews and extends our central focus on students while in embedding a continuous improvement approach to what we do. Our vision is to be a leading provider of higher education that is student-centered, research-informed, industry-relevant and accessible for all. We don't judge people as they come into us, we judge them as they leave us, Professor Cunnan said this Tuesday. With work set to begin in two weeks on the development of the CUNA campus, Professor Cunnan said that this was all part of a new era of higher education at LIT and is an expression of our values as an institution. In his address at the Clare Street campus, Niall Green, chairman of the governing body of LIT, said that consultation process in designing the strategic plan was deeply rooted in the key LIT value of being relevant to and engaged in the needs of the wider region that we serve. The objective is to be the best that we can be in serving the diverse needs of our region. See more Limerick news here.